Hello, this is Kristen from Baby Giveaways Galore. Today I'm doing my first how-to video. This is a how to use a pocket cloth diaper. For all you cloth newbies out there and that haven't seen a modern cloth diaper, this is the step-by-step -step guide on how to use a pocket cloth diaper. So I'm using a So Is Your Baby pocket diaper. This diaper comes with two microfiber inserts and the inserts are what make the diaper absorbent. So this is what catches all the, the urine and keeps it from leaking. Your first step when you receive your diaper is to wash everything. So wash the inserts and the, the cover part all together in your regular laundry or with your other cloth diapers if you have any. The second step is to stuff the pocket with one insert for daytime and two for overnight. So here is the pocket opening. This is what um, gives the diaper its name. And you take one insert and put it in the diaper. This is how I do it anyway. Now you want to make sure that the insert lays flat so it's comfortable for your baby. Tuck in the tag and there you go. It's stuffed. If it's for overnight then you would stuff the second one in on top of it. Then you want to adjust the rise of your diaper so it fits your baby perfectly. So to adjust the rise you use these snaps on the front. So for the So Is Your Baby pocket diapers, normally zero to four months you use the smallest rise. So you take these snaps, pull them over, and snap the three like this. For four to nine months, you take the middle snaps to the top snap them, and this is the medium rise, four to nine months approximately. And for nine months and up, you can just leave it completely unsnapped. So then you have a higher rise. The fourth step is to um, fasten it about around the baby's waist. So when you have your, your rise adjusted, so I'm going to pretend it's for a newborn. So, smallest rise setting. Then you need to adjust it around the waist. And to do this, I'm going to um, show you with my little friend here. So this is your newborn baby. You place him on the diaper. Bring the diaper up. Make sure you tuck in this part, otherwise you could have wicking, which is when the liquid goes from the inner material onto the, the clothes of your baby. So make sure that part's in. Now, this diaper has wing snaps. That's the third snap at the bottom, so this bottom snap. Now, these are your wings. So the wing snap, if you snap those first, snap those first like this, then your two top, and that prevents the wing part from sticking out the bottom. So it prevents wing droop, as it's called. So you adjust one side and then the other. So your wing snap and you see they don't have to be even so it depends on the waist size of your baby so the snaps don't have to be even across then you snap the two top ones so there it's fastened on your baby but as you can see it's pretty loose so you may want to adjust it so you can pull it over 
adjust it tighter. Pull this one over. And these are called crossover snaps. So you can actually pull the top part right over and snap it in. See, now this wing snap has nowhere to go because it's at its smallest setting, but that's fine. It's on top of the cover and it won't touch your baby. There, now you have a much tighter fit. So you want to look around the legs of your baby to make sure it's snug so there's no leaking. Often with newborns, this is where the diaper will leak because it's hard to get a good fit around the, the legs. So you want to make sure that's as snug as possible. And then also around the waist and the back. So this diaper has elastic in the back so that helps it get a better fit. Now, after your baby's been in the diaper for a while and if it's wet, you unsnap all the snaps like this. You can leave the rise at the same place. So this way you don't have to change it each time. Open the diaper and if it's wet, then you need to unstuff. So you need to just reach in and pull out the insert or unstuff the insert. Now you put the cover and the insert into your diaper pail. So you don't need to soak it or anything, just right into the pail. And if it is um, a poopy diaper and you have poop on your cover, you unstuff it the same. So unstuff it from the back, put the insert in your pail, and now here you need to uh, knock off or shake off the poop into a toilet. You can use a diaper sprayer, which is like a kitchen sink sprayer, or there's also disposable liners that sit in your diaper, and when it's dirty, you just take the whole thing, you can flush it or throw it in the garbage. Because you don't want all the poop going into your washing machine. Unless your baby is not eating solids yet. So for exclusively breastfed babies or even with formula feeding before the solids start, everything can be washed together. You don't need to put it in the toilet because it's water soluble. So it'll all dissolve in the wash. Then after two or three days, you have to wash all of your diapers together. So you've already unstuffed it, so your inserts are separate from the diaper. So then you dump all of your, all of your uh, diapers into the washing machine. And I do a cold wash with no detergent to rinse it out really well. Then a hot wash with one or two tablespoons of cloth safe detergent. Then I do one or two cold rinses to remove the extra detergent. And then you can dry it in the dryer. The inserts can go in the dryer. Covers, it's better to hang dry them because the pull, the uh, plastic material, can get damaged if it is dried uh, in the dryer too often. And then once it's dry, comes out of laundry, you stuff them again and have it all prepared for when your baby needs it. So that's the first how-to video.